Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be a recap of week three's go live session. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys examples of what you guys did for your grade level, and we'll go from there. In this past Wednesday's go live session, we learned how to draw cute chibi faces using triangles. So this took about 15 minutes. I kind of went over the gist of it. And then we tried to draw the chibi version on different objects. So here's the first class. And then we did it again with the other class with different other shapes. So enjoy this pre-recording that we did this past Wednesday. Uh, and it's unedited. So enjoy. So the first page is just going to be uh, a practice. So horizontal means left uh, side to side, and it's gonna be practice for what we're doing today. So if you like anime, you might like this project a lot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write down the tutorial of what it is on the top, uh, and also so the camera focuses better. So this is gonna be a how to draw uh, the word, let's see if I can do it in pink, how to draw cute, but then it's called a certain style. It's called Chibi. It's a Japanese st style of art. If you guys know what that is, then great. If you don't, it's something that, uh, how people learn how to draw cute. I understand that it's out of focus at the moment. Uh, hopefully, as I draw more, it'll be more in focus. I apologize. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw six circles in total on the page to take over the whole page, three on top and three on the bottom. So this is only for practice, guys. One two, three. I'm going to label them, actually. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do three more circles on the bottom. One, two, three. And then I might as well label them four, five, and six. So this is just for practice, guys. I'll do the actual artwork later on. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch to a colored pencil because I don't want it to be overpowering of what the thing is going to do. You'll see. All right, so what I'm going to do now is teach you guys how chibi works in an in, in anime. So what I'm going to do is that the triangle is going to represent how to draw uh, the face. So the two top parts of the triangle will be the eyes, and the bottom part of the triangle will be the mouth. Watch what I do. So this triangle is just a normal triangle like that. OK, don't draw the face yet. It's going to be a normal triangle. This triangle is going to be a taller triangle, like that. So watch what I do, just like this. Now my last triangle, this one's going to be like a wide triangle, like that. And I'm going to put it right in the middle, wide triangle, like that, OK? Now, what I just said before was that this triangle represents the eyes and the mouth placement. And I'm going to do uh, the same type of eyes and the same type of mouth on all of them. Now let's see what happens. So I'm going to draw the same eyes on all of these. Super quick. Same type of eyes. You don't have to be as fast as I am, but it's OK. So what I just did is I just draw eyes on all the triangles. And notice how the position and the closest and nearness of the eyes change versus what triangle I did it on. Now I'm going to draw the same type of mouth. Here I go. Same type of mouth on all of them. All right, by a show of fingers, which number do you think is cuter? Number one, number two, or number three? Which one's cuter? I think number three is cuter, in my opinion. If you think number one or number two is cuter, that's fine. But the reason why number three is cuter is because we separated the eyes a little more, and the mouth got moved up. Now, that's called chibi style. So if you ever see any animes where the mouth looks kind of like this, and the eyes look really far apart, and the mouth is like almost where the nose is. That's called chibi style. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place that triangle in different positions of that circle. Maybe I'll put it high up. Maybe I'll put it real low, or sorry, in the middle. And then I'll put it real low like this, OK? Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to add my eyes on each corner. I'm going to add my eyes over here, eyes over here, and eyes over here. All right, so I just added my eyes just like that. Now, 
For the mouth, I'm gonna do something completely different. In Chibi style, the mouths are normally super, super small. So I'm gonna add little U's everywhere. Just like that. And now, just from looking from four, five, and six, they look pretty cute. And also you can tell that sometimes it may look like it's looking up, maybe it's looking to the side, maybe it's looking down, or they just normally look different from where the position where you put the triangle at. So with that said, um, let's try some other things. Maybe you want to do bigger eyes. So let's see what happens if you make bigger eyes. Let's see if it still works. Oh my gosh, that looks really cute. <laughs> All right, so it looks like cuter eyes looks like that too, and it works just as well. So what I'm going to do now, so that was just practice to see how triangles work in the form of chibi form. I'm going to show you guys another thing you can do with triangles and chibi. So I'm going to divide my paper up into four sections, just like this, okay? And then I'm going to draw a variety of objects that we could turn into chibi. So maybe I'll do one that's maybe like, uh, let's see, maybe I'll do an ice cream cone, different from last time. There we go. Maybe I'll draw, let's see. What haven't I drawn yet? Maybe I'll do, oh, I know what to do. Maybe I'll draw a camera. Tell my best to draw a camera here. All right, that's good enough camera. That's okay. All right, maybe I'll draw, let's see. What else can I draw? I'm trying to draw stuff that I haven't drawn. In a while, maybe I'll draw a TV screen or a monitor screen. There you go. And then last but not least, let me draw something more fun. Maybe I should draw like a Pokeball. Pokeball. All right. That's the best I could do for a Pokeball, for now at least, because I'm trying to do this in a rush. OK, so I have my four objects. It could be anything you want. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add my triangles. So I'm gonna do this in pencil instead, instead of red, instead of red color pencil, I'm gonna add my triangle somewhere. Maybe a triangle right here. Maybe I'll put the triangle over here. So this is a wide triangle again, wide triangle. Wire right here. And then, hmm, where should I put this one? I'll put it on top. One right there. All right, let's see if this technique works. And this time, I'm gonna try to draw um different types of eyes this time maybe i'll draw one eyes as closed for this one and instead maybe i'll draw the mouth open like that kind of cool for this one maybe i'll also draw it kind of looking serious there we go and then kind of like a kind of frown but like a just a line this one what should i do um i'm gonna draw normal eyes so two normal eyes here just like this. And then maybe I'll draw the mouth really open like this. And then last but not least, I think I'm gonna draw the eyes really, really happy like this. And then he's kind of, let's see, what haven't I done yet? I'll just do this, the normal one, just like that. Maybe I had eyebrows. Ta-da. All right, so what you just learned was that using the chibi style and a wider triangle, the wider triangle makes your faces look cuter and that's called a chibi style of anime drawing. And that's how you just learned. That's what you just learned just now. So I just did it with the other class too. So if you guys are wondering, here's some other objects. So I did a game controller, a shoe, an apple, and a cupcake. And I also taught the same thing with them. As you can see, the wide triangle still works. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, we have four minutes left, which is a perfect amount of time. If you wanna share what you did, you can hold it up to the computer screen right now, or if you did a previous artwork from this week's video, you can. And then it'll be showing up on the pre-recording of this video. I see Noah's uh, Nintendo Switch, nice. That's a really good one. Anyone else wanna share? Anyone? Good job. You look really good. All right, um, let's see what else we can do. Um, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, do you see any uh, uh, artworks that I don't see? I only saw Noah's. I see Noelle's. Very interesting, and I love it. 
Oh, wow. I would love to see that. Noel, can you unmute yourself and just say hi real quick so you can pop up on my screen? Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I can only see nine people, but now I can see you now. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks really cool. That's a, is that cool. a dry erase marker board? Wow, I need I need to get myself one of those. Those are really cool. Anyone else want to share? Um, Taylor's holding up a beautiful creation. Okay, I'd love to see Taylor's. I can't see hers at the moment, but I'd love to see hers. Can you unmute yourself, Taylor, and just say hi real quick, and then hi. your camera will pop up. Oh, there you there you are. Oh wow, you did exactly things I did, and they look really good. Good job, Taylor. All right, um, that's all I have for today. Um, we are going to end the meeting a little bit earlier because we are all finished. So hopefully you guys enjoy this lesson. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip my camera around and uh, flip the camera one, actually. Give me one sec. Here we go. All right. Here we go. We are back to camera one. So uh, I'm going to ask you guys to sign up. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Mr. No. Uh, I, what, yeah. Violet, Violet wanted to tell um, me that she said hi. Okay, no problem. All right, uh, Hill, you got one more question? Oh. Um, yeah. Okay, never mind. That's okay. Okay, um, cool. good job, Adrian. That's a really good drawing. All right, I'm going to ask you guys to sign off. Bye, guys.